Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Uh, look, the kitchen's changing. They've knocked through, I've painted. It's been a very, very full on week. And trust me, I am just about putting recipe videos together at the moment. So thank you so much for putting up with everything at the moment. Uh, this recipe today are some gorgeous honey mustard ham and cheese croissants. I've been asked for a few breakfast twist ideas recently and they are phenomenally good. I really hope you give them a try. So this recipe is super simple. Uh, you could actually make your very own uh, croissants either from scratch or by using puff pastry from the store. But uh, if you want to make it super lazy, just buy yourself some ready-made uh, all butter croissants uh, from a shop. Uh, get yourself a serrated knife and slice it very carefully in half. Uh, so you've got two even sized halves of croissant. I don't know how I was going with that, but it's ready for building. So the fillings, anything goes, but I love the ham cheese combination, especially when it's melted. The cheese on its own would be minging, but when it's melted, so good. And I'm using applewood, which is a smoked cheese. Oh, super stonking indeed. So I just broke that up onto the bottom layer and then added some good quality breaded ham on there as much as I could, not too high, but then you don't want one really minimal thin layer, the kind of ones you get in service stations on the motorway where you pay eight quid for a sandwich or on a train and it's like a teeny little sliver. No, 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 no. I went to town. I went to ham town, baby. And to help seal that in, and when it melts, another layer of cheese, which will just cloak it and hold it all on there. So applewood, smoked cheese, and some decent quality ham. Stick your other lid of the croissant on top. And on its own, that would be good. But we're now going to add a honey mustard topping. So into a bowl, it was simply a combination of honey, mustard, and light brown sugar. The honey was just a runny honey. And in fact, that mustard, you could use Dijon, you could use whole grain. I actually used horseradish mustard, which I discovered about a month ago, which if you like horseradish, it's got a really nice punch to it. Uh, and the light brown sugar just gives it a teeny bit of a sweetness and does help to char the top slightly, give it a nice bit of caramelization. Uh, mix it around until you're happy with it. You might want to add a little bit more sugar, anything else until you like that flavor combination. There's also uh, some poppy seeds and sesame seeds that have gone in there, which give it a really cool final look. When you are nice and happy with it, uh, the croissants uh, simply just get brushed with this honey mustard mixture on there. Make sure you glaze the top half, get it all evenly coated on there. What you'll find is the seeds will just suddenly stick to it and look really cool indeed. So on a baking tray it goes and into the oven, it's been preheated for around about eight to 10 minutes just to melt through the cheese and grip it and just sort of caramelize the top just very slightly. So, so good. So with that done out of the oven, don't handle it straight away. Give it about 30 seconds to a minute to cool down a little bit. Otherwise you could burn your hands. Uh, and then of course uh, you want to break it apart and let the cheese ooze out. And when I took a taste of it, it is phenomenal. The perfect balance of smoky cheese and ham and that just caramelized like seedy topping. It's incredible. And for a nice short breakfast hack, I hope you love it. Put your own spin on it and give it a go. So that's it folks. Really hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you do try it, send me a picture. I love to see it on all my social media platforms. Subscribe for regular recipe videos and food fun. And I'll see you again next time. I've got to go floor in there now. I've got to lay a floor.